Hello, I am Gargi Arora in conversation with Lama Yeshi, a Buddhist monk and he has been talking to us about Buddhism and today we are going to talk about thoughts. Lama Yeshi, I want to ask you, what are you thinking right now? <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I was actually uh, thinking how relaxed I feel, even though, uh, you know, we're being filmed. I feel uh, relaxed and I feel present in the moment. I feel here and alert and ready to answer your questions. Okay. What are you thinking? Uh, I'm just thinking what I'm going to eat after the show. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you know we've <laughs> so been not mindful. Then. <laughs> yeah, maybe not totally uh, mindful. Okay, we've been hearing, listening, and talking, and uh, reading a lot about thoughts. That it's important to control thoughts. It's important to control thoughts. Now I have two questions to ask you. One thing is, I am mindful, and I meditate, and I control my thoughts. And the second situation is when whatever I'm thinking about is no longer important for me so naturally I, I, I'll stop thinking about that so but what is the natural way of thinking about about something like I, I just said that I'm thinking about you know what 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 would I like to eat after the show so that's a very natural thought maybe mm. you know it could be related to my hunger or I'm a foodie whatever but is there really any way any magic of controlling thoughts first of all there's not magic <laughs> Okay. in anything in anywhere so magic no and control is wrong that that's wrong we should never try to control our thoughts we shouldn't uh, suppress them we shouldn't keep them pushed down and we shouldn't try to control them we should just watch them and the point about uh, you know you're sitting here but your mind was already sitting in cafe coffee day or something yeah. eating that's because you're not being mindful and now your body is here, your mind has gone Some on somewhere minutes. else. Yeah. Mm. So when our body and our mind are together in the present moment, then we're being mindful. Then we can make good decisions. And then our thoughts, again, our thoughts may not be uh, overly helpful thoughts, but because we're present, we can let them go. So we have to understand that the first main thing is that a thought is just a thought. A thought is not reality. A thought is not you. It is just a thought. Just because you're thinking that thought, it doesn't mean that, that it's it you. That it is the reality. Yeah, yes. it doesn't mean I've it's reality. I've experienced that, you know. Yeah. Sometimes what happens is, you know, you start thinking about a particular thing only because of the situation you are in. You know, like you may read read the newspaper, you know, you may read about something happening in the colleges or universities and then you start thinking about the youth. Then you turn turn on to the next page and you're you know, reading about the elections and then you start thinking about that. So, you know, your th thoughts are also turning with you according to your situations mm. or according to what you're reading. Yeah. And after maybe a few minutes, you know, the phone rings and then somebody tells you good news and you start thinking about that. So actually they really don't have any base, you know, they're just traveling with us like, you know, the way we are probably shifting our focus to one situation or the other, is that right? Yeah, you know, there's many distractions in the world these days and, you know, the mobile the, phone yes. is number one distraction in the world. So, yeah, when we're distracted, our mind goes, our thoughts go to something else. The problem isn't the thought. The thoughts will just come and they'll just go. If you sit and meditate, you won't see where they're coming from and you won't see where they go. The thought just comes. So. That's not a problem, that thoughts coming, thoughts will come. You just try to sit down and meditate and then you'll see that thoughts naturally come. That's not a problem. The problem is when we put too much weight on these thoughts, when we give the thought too much power. You know, the thought is only a thought and it has absolutely no power until you give it power. And you give it power by uh, concentrating on it and by believing it. It's like if you had the thought in your mind, oh, I'm not a good person. Then from that thought, then you think, I'm not a good person. Then, oh, I've always been a bad person. Why am I a bad person? Oh, I can never change. Yeah. So we believe that thought that I'm not a good person. But if we just observe the thoughts and don't think that they are real, 
and we just look and say, oh, at the moment I'm thinking that I'm not a good person. So you see the difference. I'm not a good person. At the moment I'm thinking I'm not a good person. Two different things. When we give the power to the thoughts, it can make us completely negative. Our default in our brain is negative. I mean, it's a survival mechanism from, you know, the Stone Ages when we used to have to go out and kill the animals ourselves. So, you know, that was the survival. That's how our mind is, that's how our brain is wired. It's wired in a negative way. So it's so easy for us to slip into negativity. And when we think of a thought as being real, then you see that I am, I'm not a good person, that becomes real. Then you think, oh, I'm not a good person. But if you're just looking at the thought, you're just seeing the thoughts come. Okay, at the moment I'm thinking I'm not a good person. Let it go. Then another thought comes. Then another thought. So they say on average we have 60,000 thoughts a day. Okay. So you imagine 60,000 thoughts a day. And a large proportion of those thoughts are complete rubbish. 60,000 thoughts are generated by our mind? Yeah. 60,000 thoughts. And what's up? What's up? Yeah. In what way? <laughs> if the human mind has a capacity of generating 60,000 uh, uh, thoughts a day. Th a, a day, that means WhatsApp is also adding to it? Yeah, but that's just another thought. You know, all these WhatsApp and Facebook and Twitter and that, they're just distractions. Mobile phone, they're just another distraction. You're not adding, you're not adding to uh, these 60,000, you know, you've not got 60,000 and then Facebook, so 60,000 and ones. So that would be part of your thoughts. But your thoughts will just keep coming, naturally uh, keep coming. And whatever situation you're in, then that's what your thoughts will come. But the point is that we don't have to believe the thoughts. Everything. And we don't have to follow the thoughts. But when we're not being mindful, when we're just on autopilot, then of course a thought comes, we believe it. I'm not a good person, okay, then I'm not a good person. I believe that I'm not a good person. When we're being mindful, we can see a thought come up. Then we can choose, I follow that thought or I don't follow that thought. This is a helpful thought or this is a harmful one. If it's helpful, then we can follow it. If it's harmful, don't follow it. But we shouldn't believe the thought is some reality, the thought is real, because it isn't. It is only a thought. And if you don't give it any power, if you don't, you know, concentrate on it, it will go and another thought will come behind it. So, they say the 60,000 thoughts. We don't have to wonder, you know, I wonder how many thoughts I've had today. These are coming naturally, the thoughts. But the, the main point is that a lot of these thoughts <coughs> are just rubbish. They're just no good thoughts. They're just negative and not helpful and of no point. So we can let them go and then we can just concentrate on the thoughts that we think are going to be helpful, are going to be kind, are going to be compassionate, are going to be useful. So... Lama, you want to ask you one thing recently, you know, with the coming up of this technology and these applications like WhatsApp and Twitter and all that. You know, there are a lot of these things that people send on WhatsApp about meditation, about spirituality, about mindfulness, mm. about positivity, everything. Mm. And I wonder how much do we really practice this? Um, I think something that recently happened was like a blessing in disguise for me. My WhatsApp started, uh, so, uh, my WhatsApp is not working since one, uh, the, since last one week. And I realized that, you know, there's a change in my thought process. I'm calm. I'm more positive and they're less conflicting thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes you end up reading about accidents. Of course, you need to be informed when you're staying in the world. But my mind is not all that gripped as it used to be now, yeah. earlier. Yeah, you see, the, the, these things, the new technology, are causing us big distractions. You know, people, they can't do anything without taking a photo. If they go out for a meal, they'll take a photo and put it on Facebook so everybody can see that meal in front of them. Or they'll, uh, you know, I'm having a bad day and so they'll have to put it on Twitter so the whole world knows. Yeah, we're, what we're doing is just adding more suffering into our lives. We're just uh, getting more attached to 
these mechanical things and instead of them there to help us they're there to distract us and of course when we're distracted then you know we're, we're not going to be mindful so we have to just watch our thoughts not control them at the beginning you said about controlling we shouldn't try to control we shouldn't try to suppress and okay. we shouldn't just let every thought come out we should just view the thought and the useful ones then follow the unhelpful ones then leave just let go so if we can do that if we see a thought as a thought a thought is not reality a thought is not you it is just a, a thought. thought then you can change your whole life you can uh, it is a life changing experience just to understand that and just to be present in the moment and just watch the thoughts and then decide which ones I will follow and which ones I won't follow okay. <coughs> you know we s there's a pattern which is emerging in the youngsters and uh, not just youngsters but I think with the middle age and the old people also they're getting very addicted to their mobile phones and I've seen sometimes you know I've seen older people talking about uh, insecurities which is very very natural for them to have insecurities I think we have them at all the stages but I think it's more promote, promoted by, uh, you know, the unmindful thoughts of people around. You know, when unmindfully I may write, I may just type something and send it, you know. Yeah. It's not, I don't think it's important that my experience is going to be your experience as well. So, is it, how do I control my thoughts on that? I You may read something which has impacted me, but it's not imp important that it's going to impact you also. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, how yeah. do I, uh, you know, a sort of mentally screen myself away from that? You know, we're all different, so it's true that, you know, what impacts on you may not impact on me. But, you know, it doesn't matter if it impacted on me or not, it impacted on you. So then you have to look at why that impacted on you and where do you take that? Do you just see that, oh yeah, that that's quite sad what's happened there, but, you know, I can't do anything about it. Maybe it's the other side of the world, and so you can't do anything about it. So that means, so being, um, I think at this stage one needs to be uh, more mindful. Yeah. That it's just his experience, Yeah. and I don't have to carry those thoughts to me. Yeah, you know, if, it, if it's my experience and I'm trying to force my uh, negative thoughts. thoughts onto you, of course you don't have to take them. You know, if somebody is giving you know you a, a bomb, then you just go, no, no, I don't want, I don't want to yeah. take that. So if somebody is giving you negative thoughts again, you go, no, no, I don't want to take it. So no, we don't have to take other people's thoughts, but what we do have to do is watch our own thoughts. Okay. Thank you, Lama Yishi. Uh, I think it's very inspiring to think positive thoughts. Yeah, it definitely is inspiring to, Thank to you be very positive. Much. You're welcome. Thank you.